killer whale fashion fads. Orcas or killer whales are some of the smartest and most industrious animals on the planet and they also are the most playful. They are like the golden retriever of the sea but quite deadly when they want to be. They're also highly social. They follow trendy behaviors and fads sometimes. The last time we heard they had all begun jumping on the trend of downing yachts. Now it is likely that as humans dabble in 30 year old fashion trends trying to resurrect them, killer whales are maybe trying to do the same because wearing a dead salmon as a hat in the sea while swimming, very distinguished, has been seen again in killer whales nearly 35 years after it was initially observed in these animals here and spread around to other animals of different pods who had all begun to wear dead fish hats for fun or to make a statement. Killer whales or orcas are some of the largest marine mammals in the world. They are dolphins, they're not whales, and they are very, very social. They live in large pods and they are some of the most social species we know. Meaning that, just like with humans, a large part of their life revolves around living in societies or social groups with other members of their own species. They stay with their parents and siblings for several decades, and many large pods include cousins and extended social family living together, very much like an old-school Indian joint family. They are very smart, they are highly trainable and intelligent, and in fact, just like dogs, they have shown instances of working with humans as a team. During the era of industrial and commercial whaling, at certain points, they also did help hunt whales along with humans a century ago, in return for free food of whale parts like the whale's tongue. This is known as the law of the tongue, and when those groups of orcas died out, this did not continue. Now, much like a human social group, these pods and social groups, whether loosely connected or very tightly knit, they have forms of communication, they have in-jokes, and they have more esoteric forms of communication. So it's likely that these orcas might just be using dead fish on their heads for that as an in-joke. But let's take a step back. What actually happened in the 80s with this salmon hat trend? Now, the location for our story is Puget Sound off the coast of US and Canada in the Northwest. A sound in geography and in water body science is a small body of water that is separately connected to the ocean and has a smaller inlet. In this location, back in 1987, orcas were thriving and many pods were local residents of this area. These animals come into the sound and then go back into the ocean, as they do even today. In 1987, people around the region started seeing something unique and funny and quite perplexing. A female orca from a pod that was named K-Pod started carrying a dead salmon on her head. And within just a month or two, this behavior spread not only within this pod, but killer whales from multiple other pods also started to carry a piece of dead fish on their heads like a hat. This is very fascinating for marine biologists because nobody knew why. Maybe they liked the smell of dead fish or they were just trying to be funny. Nobody understood it and this behavior fizzled out soon. Human scientists could not understand the purpose behind slapping a fish on your head served to these dolphins and the trend then eventually died. But now in October again, nearly my whole lifetime later, Another male from a different pod called the J-Pod was spotted with a dead salmon on head. Two years ago, 11-year-old male killer whale, just a teenager, was doing a similar exercise but was balancing a dead salmon on his nose and swimming around. This is slightly different. This is hats on the head and this trend might be back. But why? Why might these killer whales be engaging in this behavior? Unfortunately, the answer is the same as with all of the other killer whale trends. We just don't know. In the 1980s, they started wearing fish as hats and then they stopped. At another point, some pods around the world were just going to shallow waters, especially off Canada, and just began to go down to the seabed and rub themselves on the ground like they were, like they were giving themselves a full body exfoliation on the rocks. 
this also died down. In another instance, a pod of killer whales decided to specifically play around with prawn and crab fishing gear by wrapping themselves in the lines and picking up these specific fishing traps in their mouths and placing them in a different location. They weren't doing this with other types of fishing traps and we don't know why. There was no objective and this seems to be just for fun, like a game and play. And this trend also died off a few years later. One of the things we do guess is that these trends might just be an indicator of abundance of a particular resource there. It's likely that there is an abundance of salmon in the area. So now this trend indicates this abundance. What we do know is that juvenile males pick up these fads the most and run with them and it appears they grow out of their fashion sense by the time they age. Now, is this actually a resurgence of the trend though? Orca toppling boats and yachts definitely is, possibly driven by them liking to play with the bubbles from propellers and then going and prodding the propellers when they're not actually running. This behavior has been observed for a while across multiple individuals and multiple pods. But the recent salmon hat episode is not a trend, at least not yet. In fact, only one killer whale was seen doing it and it could simply have been a picture that was taken while in the process of hunting. We'll of course find out more, but what these behaviors show us is the high level of intelligence and even culture as we define culture that applies to these marine mammals. Killer whales have very complex social rituals such as greeting ceremonies when saying hi and seemingly dancing, having different dialects and different types of sounds within a group in a geographical area, having very complicated and layered hunting strategies and much, much more. They show emotions of happiness, joy, playfulness, grief and more complex such feelings. No doubt, this kind of play is a symbolism for this kind of cognitive advancement in these animals. Also, no doubt, now there are going to be more and more people keeping their eyes open in this region to see if the salmon hat trend is back in these dolphins. But the episode once again shows to us just how much closer to us these highly intelligent and large animals are.